All right, hey everybody, this is Zach Rosen from The New Gay. I'm in an alley with Kevin Barnes from Of Montreal, which uh, is cool enough. And he's letting me wear some of his clothes, which is also very nice. Uh, before I start talking to you, Kevin, I will tell all of your rabid fans, this interview will be a lot about sex, sexuality, and gender, so you're gonna yell at me, and I'm cool with that. Just wanted to let you know I'm expecting it. One thing I else I noticed between um, skeletal lamping and false priests is that skeletal lamping seem to be about having sex with like everyone and everything. False priest is more about the girl, the crazy girl, okay. the girlfriend. Uh, what changed between the two? Um, I guess, you know, if you're super promiscuous, after a while, it just becomes too shallow, you mm -hmm. know, and you look for something more substantial. So, I guess that would be... So it's actually come from into one girl? Yeah. Okay. It's all come into one girl. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and she's crazy. Nutty. Yeah. And then also, because this is a gay website, and you have an album with a priest in the title, yeah. and a song like Holiday Call, um, which for all intents and purposes for everyone at home sounds like a priest trying to have sex with you. <laughs> and I've seen you get crucified on stage enough times, naked. Yeah. Uh, what is the religion, uh, religion element? What does that priest mean to you? Well, like, my brother and I were both raised Catholic, and we went to church every Sunday mm -hmm. for like 18 years, so seeing it all, you know, from that perspective and really kind of having like a real cynical view of it, like from a very early age and like being forced to go again and again and again, you know, so you go through different phases at first, you know, you think like, what's wrong with me? Like, why do I not understand this? Why don't I feel this at all? You know, it doesn't seem right to me. It seems just totally ridiculous and absurd. And just role playing, you know, it's just a great charade. Mm -hmm. And then like, you see like, well, my parents are into it. My sisters are into it. So maybe I, I'm just missing something, I need to focus more, or whatever. So I try to pay attention and try to care. And then eventually it's like, fuck it, man, there's just nothing there. No matter how much I try, I can't delude myself into thinking it's real. So then I just have to give up and then you come a little bit resentful. So a holiday call could actually be about getting fucked by the church. Could be, yeah. It's kind of like an inner, of the word. Yeah, sort of like an inappropriate relationship, you know, someone's trying to right. take advantage of you. Okay. And, uh, I mean, it's an understatement to say that there's kind of a fluid gender and sex identity running through essentially every Oak Montreal song. Yeah. Yeah, and then you hired, not hired, you've been working with Janelle Monet, who's also someone who's that really androgynous look, kind of likes to flirt with her audience so much. What is it, um, I don't know, what are your views on gender, Kevin? Um, i throw you the broad question. Yeah, I mean, it does seem sort of, um, at least gender consciousness is sort of fluid, you know, where people don't, I mean, some people, they really get off on being super masculine, you know? Mm -hmm. Men and women. You know. Some women are, are more masculine than a lot of men. Right. And you know, vice versa. Some men are more feminine than a lot of women. So, and you should have that right, you know, to have moments of femininity and moments of masculinity or whatever. Is that where Georgie Fruit comes from? Who, for those at home, is Kevin's? And I'm quoting black female alter ego. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's kind of like the wildest figure I could think of because it's like so far removed from my actual. Mm -hmm. experiences and my own physical appearance so yeah it kind of gave me it gave me a great freedom to do things to say things that I maybe wouldn't have felt comfortable doing and saying as Kevin Barnes right but now I've just sort of like integrated into my self-concept where I don't really think of that there's no like real distinction between these different personas it's all just one thing I don't know what to do with my hands if you'll be saying that right <laughs> now it's not really a good place to put them I can do this yeah. Yeah. Anything else you want to tell everybody before this goes on for too long? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> Any big surprises at the stage show tonight for people who uh, are going to go see this tour later? Well, we have a funny, weird theme running throughout the show. Um, my brother and I were both really into wrestling when we were younger, and uh, WrestleMania hit us pretty hard. Hulk Hogan one of our heroes, Killer Bees, British Bulldogs. Um, so some, for some weird reason, we just sort of integrated that into our stage show, and there's a lot of wrestling happening. Very quick final question, because everyone want, some of my friends want to know, any chance the kind of Elephant Six on top is going to come back? or For is that uh, For the band, yeah. Uh, or is that just off in your past, and it's going to get crazier from here? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't like looking back, you know, so... Because that's behind us? <laughs> no, I do like looking at that, but um, 
I don't really know. I like to move forward. Yeah, I don't really like to like think. And I'm not sentimental at all, so you know, I don't really like, think back or nostalgic. You know, I don't really like think back. I'm like, oh, that was a great period. I would do something just like that. You know, I just want to find new influences, new inspiration, and just keep moving forward. Awesome, Kevin Barnes, everybody. Thank you.